Hi guys, this is Lakshmi. Welcome to my channel. So with the Super Bowl coming up this weekend and Valentine's Day coming up the week after, there are so many reasons to get together with your loved ones and enjoy their company. But no get together is complete without good food. So here's some really delicious creamy veggie delight pasta that can easily be turned into a meat lovers pasta too. So sit back, relax and enjoy a glass of wine with this flavorful pasta. Let's get started. So we begin with preparing our white sauce. Let's add 1 tablespoon of olive oil and 1 tablespoon of butter to our pot and let the butter melt. Now to thicken our sauce, I'm adding 2 tablespoons of plain flour to this and saute it for about a minute. Now I'm adding 1 cup of heavy whipping cream and I'm also adding 1 cup of regular milk. Now mix this and let it come to a boil. Now meanwhile I also have my pasta that is boiling on the side. You can choose any type of pasta that you like. Alright so our sauce has nicely thickened up. Don't worry if it looks too thick right now. We will thin it later. Now some quick tips for healthier options would be to skip the butter and use olive oil and also you can use wheat flour instead of the regular flour that we used and replace the heavy whipping cream with regular milk and don't worry I have tried all these healthier options and this pasta turns out really well even with the healthy options. So let's prepare our veggies. I have taken some olive oil to which I will add half tablespoon of butter. Once the butter has melted, I will add 2 tablespoons of chopped garlic. Now if you don't like garlic so much, you can just skip it but I am a garlic lover. Now it's time to add our veggies. We begin with adding some onions. Sort it for a couple of seconds. We don't want to cook our veggies uh, till they are too mushy. We just want them to be slightly cooked. Now I'm adding half a cup of broccoli. Now you can choose any veggies that you like. The options are unlimited. Everything is going to taste really great with the sauce that we are going to prepare. Next, I'm adding some lovely yellow bell peppers. The combination of all these colors is going to make it look really beautiful and pretty. Finally, I'm adding some cherry tomatoes that are slit into half. Now, the meat lovers could obviously add any meat that they like. Uh, think anything from Italian sausage that is already cooked or chicken breast, anything that you like. Now let's season our veggies. I start with some garlic salt, but you can use regular salt. Some red chili flakes or crushed red pepper. You can skip this if you don't like it spicy. And finally some Italian seasoning. This is a mix of all dried Italian herbs. Give it a nice mix. Now once the veggies are cooked as per your liking, we will add the white sauce that we had prepared. Give it a stir and add some water to thin the sauce. 
and give it a nice mix. Wow, it smells so nice in here. Alright, so now let's add our pasta in it. Give it a stir and do a taste test. Now I went back and added all of the herbs and spices that I mentioned before. So you do you. Alright, so one final step would be to top it up with cheese. And I'm just using this dried cheese and not the regular one. Anything will do. Mix well and we are done. Now if you are anything like me, you must have garlic bread with your pasta. Now here's a quick way to prepare garlic bread. I'm just slicing this French baguette. And here we have taken some melted butter. We are preparing the garlic spread for our bread. Add some chopped garlic and some salt. Give it a mix. And start spreading it on our breads. After that, you can season it with the Italian seasoning and even add chili flakes if you like it. Toss it in the oven at 350 degrees for 5 to 6 minutes. And they look awesome! Yes, and they pair really well with the pasta that we made. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Until we meet next time, be larger than life.